If you're good enough, I'm sure you can climb even with AP Zach. But yes, I agree. AP Zach and Zach as a carry is dead. Look, I was playing Zach top and mid when nobody else was, and I climbed a diamond on a champion in a role that nobody else played him in. It, if I can do that on Zach, almost any champion can be played in almost any build, and people can find success with it if they're good enough with it and understand it well enough. Obviously, some things are not true. Like, I'm sure you could make AD Braum top lane work, but you would need to have an awful lot of knowledge on that champion to make it work, and you would still probably not make it work most of the time. Or maybe you could, I don't know. I know that there was somebody who mained, like, Alistar top. And still managed to make it so they can climb to Diamond doing that. So you know what? I keep an open mind. Anything is possible. So I was read Zigzalux bot lane. Interesting. All right, Carthizzle, I think you've made your point. Let's uh, tone down the tone down the uh, the conversation a bit. So it's a Trinomir with Ignite. He's going to look to kill me level 1 or level 2. I need to make that a non-reality. So let's try. I kind of worry that because of Conquer, he might actually be able to win a level 1 fight. Like right now, level one, as in not even with minions. My goal is to try and make it hurt for him to get that first set of rage. So I'm going to be shooting him anytime he tries to walk up to pick up any sort of, uh, ec well, CS, but more than that, I need to keep him away from the wave. So that's what I'm going to do. He might be helping the graves. He was. Which means the Graves could come gank me any second now. Got Canceling autos. They said they increased his... Uh, uh. When you start with uh, an advantage like I currently have, that's a good situation to be in. And I actually have the ability to threaten a kill. All right, Graves went mid. That's good to know. Obviously not good for our mid laner, but good for me. He's missing out on a bunch of CS. Not XP, but a bunch of CS. Yeah, wow. I'm actually bullying him away from the farm. I do need to be careful. This is roughly when that Graves would want to make a play. Somebody just used their dash. That tower shot was unnecessary for me to take. That'll do. Oh no! No, no! You're kidding me! The third shot hit me? Ah! Damn it, he actually got a kill out of that. 
I don't get it, man. So many times, the enemy tower just seems to do some weird and Oh, no. Rancor's dead. Where is it? Uh. Oh! Shit, and I didn't buy anything. Fuck! Wow, the Rengar nearly won it, but he didn't quite. I'm gonna have to shove this out and go back and buy. Well, that sucks. He gets a fucking T in there. Wow, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. The tower, sh that third shot should not have happened. I was out of range. Look, my my motto is keep an open mind. There's really no point in in criticizing people for having different thoughts when they make it work or they have fun doing. Full rage bar, which is annoying to deal with. If he's just gonna be shoving like this, then I'm just gonna freeze. We got him. Took a lot more effort than it should have taken, but we got him. Also, this needs to be in a useful slot. That was... I can't believe he nearly took us both on. Crazy. But he didn't, so that's all that matters, I guess. Good. Tabby and Bramble Vest. And all that before I get Cleaver. Oh, dear, our bot lane. Um, oh, dear, our bot lane. It's just like last game, only... No, no, actually, this is just like last game. This, this is nothing different. Last game, I also was in a situation where I was beating my top lane opponent. Mid lane was doing acceptably, jungle was doing okay, and our bot lane is just dropping the ball hard. Making him have to eat a lot of damage if he wants to farm. That's what you get for pushing. Boy, you just took a... His healing is obnoxious, but at the same time, my damage, my burst is significant. And I'm not just going to let you walk up and farm. Oh. I see. I bet. I am not dead. Well then. I think I got his ult. At least I didn't die! Though my tower is likely gonna go down because I am I just lost most of my life and it's 280 champions. Damn, that sucks. Tower's gone. Nothing I can do about that. It was either my life in the tower, or just the tower. That is, that's something that's really frustrating. At nine minutes into the game, I lose my tower from one successful game. Let's go 
make sure he's not stealing blue buff. Dropping the ball so hard. Yeah, this game's basically over. Their split pusher now has a massive advantage. He can roam. He can he can just go into the jungle and farm. He's got nothing to worry about. His team is carrying him. I mean, it's so frustrating to play against the champion that literally doesn't actually need to do well in lane at all to win his lane. And even if he doesn't win his lane, he can just then split push for the rest of the game, and there's nothing I can really do to stop him. Because by default, at this point, he's now stronger than me in a one-on-one. -on -one. I don't think I can beat him anymore. Unless he fucks up. I can't, I can't walk up anymore. It's too dangerous. He'd likely win the 1v1. As well. I know you can see me doing this, so I might as well do this quickly. Shit, I might not do it quickly enough. Oh no. Never mind. Jax! I was trying to cut off his retreat. The fact that he didn't even try to retreat was actually kind of funny. Alright, well, we picked up two kills. It's always nice. I'm not sure how much I deserved those kills, but we got them. Alright, well, I got the proper setup to deal with both Graves and Trindamir, but I don't really know how much of a difference it's going to make. We're very far behind as a team right now. Two turrets and three kills. Doesn't seem like much, but 12 minutes in, it's a lot. It's at least a 2 to 3k gold lead, at least. Can't help but feel like they're going for the rift. mid lane. Can I even? Hold on, who got it? Graves. Oh, never mind, I gotta go back top lane. I got my teleport, so if they drop the rift somewhere big and visible, I'll be able to deal with it. It's already gone. Yeah, we can kiss that dragon goodbye. Yeah, this game is snowballing quickly out of our control. Top 
flame. Jesus, how the fuck do they go 0 and 6? It's against the Ziggs Lux bot lane, too. A very unusual choice of duo to send bot lane. Uh, somehow that doesn't feel like a good excuse to fail as badly as they did. Uh, oh. At least he didn't die. Gotta go stop turning him here. I'm doing what I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think you were winning this? Uh, got him. Got him. Okay, so he didn't win it. It was technically a draw. <laughs> Six and two. Hmm. quit. Whatever he did, he did it. Technically, my antagonistic statement towards the, uh, towards the Ziggs was correct. I did kill him. Unfortunately, I accidentally popped my ghost. I didn't actually mean to. Go. No, I need just a little more damage. Well, that'll do. We'll kill that little munchkin instead. Just needed the tiniest amount more damage and I would have killed him. Well, seems I'm scary, so that's good. Waiting for this crap to respawn and then I'll kill it. I'll kill it! I'm the only one allowed to be a crab! And he's dead again. Alright, well, I'm very well situated to deal with Trinomir currently. I'm going to need to get a Randuin's Omen next if I want any chance of being able to properly outscale him. may have a shitload of kills, and I've got a lot of armor, but this is still Trinomir. Ow. 
I mean, I do have an awful lot of armor. Well, <laughs> okay then. <laughs> cool. We at least did get one kill out of that. My ultimate just kept him going so slow. That's the nice part. The ultimate scales with how low their health gets. So yes, Trinomir, you popped your ultimate, and you're at zero health, but you're not dead. But that means my ultimate is slowing you for... Hold on. Um, slows for forcing us up to 75%. So it's slowing him for 75% for the entire duration. He's at that incredibly low health. Um... Just looks really funny. Let's get one of these. Oh, wait. Yeah. And hey there, Tom. How you doing? Yes, Lucian should just shut up and play. That is the smartest thing you can do when you're not... Nice. Dying in the end. Kill, kill that! Kill the dragon! Oh. Bang! <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Patiently waiting for the death note. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it, I screwed that up. Let's see. We'll die for it. Uh, that means our top lane's dead. Fuck. It was a mistake. I wasted my teleport there. But we did get a kill out of it, so not the end of the world. And they may be able to kill him now. I do find it hilarious. The Trinomir is behind me in farm. He's he's taken both of my turrets. He's had got, he's gotten a bunch of help. His team's kicking ass, and yet he is still behind me in farm. It's quite funny. Ward is not the most helpful ward I could have placed. I'm gonna go join the Rangar. Never mind. Cool. Oh. Ah! Oh no. He didn't die. But Lucian did. There's no point in going down there. And Malzor just died. Hmm. Oh good, Rangar did get the Talon, so there's at least that. Oh, that hit me. Whatever. Didn't really do any damage. Got you. Got And I will leave. I am tanky. I am tanky. So very tanky. 
Oh my, he is not dead. We should leave. We should leave very much right now. <laughs> just let me I'll just run him down. Yes, you managed to survive my ultimate. Congratulations. You're still not gonna live though. His top four are Aurelia, Riven, Yasuo, and Zed. Oh, man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> so, by the way, who's the tilted person on my team? Is it the Lucian? The Rangar? Who, which one is it? No. I wanted to hit... Cool. We got him. That, wow, that's got to be a tilter. N nicely done there, Tarot Cat. I wanted, <sighs> why did the Trinomir take the bullet for him? I'm very annoyed at that. Very, very annoyed. Oh, so I should have just walked away from the Trinomir at that point, not reactivated the R and just waited. I might have been able to kill him had I done that. Lucian dead again. No, he is not. And Rangar is in! Uh, that's a... Uh, uh, we could win this game, huh? We should do this. We got so much time on our hands. Might as well take advantage of it. No! Okay. I was a little worried there for a second. I was a that ult was very well timed from the Lux. I thought she stole it. Wow, we can actually win this game. The Trinomir is just not very useful. And their Graves isn't doing as much as the, the Rangar is actually very threatening. Wow, this is gone already. I died really fast. Whoosh! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> wow! He killed him just with the jump! He, he fucking killed him just with the jump! Alright, Trindamir. Let's see what you can do against me. He's way too afraid of me, and for good reason. I'd smoosh him. At least until he gets IE, I'd be able to just smoosh him. I'm coming with him. I have a feeling he knows where the party is. I'm in, I'm in the, the mood for a good time. I'm taking you away for later processing. For later consumption and processing. Oh no, am I gonna make it in time? Am I not? I'm not gonna make it. Fuck me! He actually managed to kill it that fast. 
fuck. He's gonna get away. Well, that sucks. He managed to kill the tower too fast. I needed to teleport to a minion. It was stupid of me to teleport to the tower. That cost us the inhibitor. That uh, really sucks. They managed to get an inhibitor when we got all those object. When we got all those kills, they get an inhibitor. And that's my fault. I needed to teleport to a minion. Really, really stupid move on my part. The most boosted thing I've done today. He just warded. Just keeping an eye on him. Oh, God. oh man, I need to buy, but I don't have the time to do it. Oh no. Okay, they did get one for one at least. Now let me get my thorn mail. Thorn mail is going to be a big deal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Nice fight, guys. Nice fight. Just don't die. Please, nobody else die. Just... Oh. Yep. I was worried that was going to happen. The Trinomir made the long trek up there, and the fight was still going on. Well, that's annoying. But at least at this point, I'd love to see the Trinomir actually fight me and win. Actually, I wouldn't love to see that. I'd be very surprised to see it, is what I meant to say. He's gonna live. Well, at least we only lost the turret and we picked up a kill for that. Good god, the tower went down so fast. Oh, they have two mountains. That would explain it. That's probably mostly because of our bot lane having zero pressure early in the game. Tower is taking a lot of damage. And they got the Infernal because of that. But hey, he did just get a one. Uh, he just got a solo kill against the Trin. That's a good deal. Our Rangar is mighty strong right now. We need to play around his picks. Would you rather take blue or win? Your pick. <laughs> oh, damn it. The Rangar got... I thought the Rangar was home free after that kill. How the hell did he get hunted down?
Mark. Our inhibs coming back. We need to just get a good team fight. Vision on the Baron. And it's gone! Wow! We lost vision of the Baron for five seconds and it's gone. Wow, that's frustrating. Wait, he counts as melee? Oh, he is actually melee. Well, two mountains and an infer. Oh no. That's not good. At least he didn't die. And Rangar will hunt down and kill the Talon. That's fair. Oh! That was cute. Oh, that sucks the Graves. The Graves managed to kill the Rangar after. That really sucks for us. And wow, the Lucian has healed back to full health. Ah, lifesteal in this game is fun, isn't it? Sure, I'll take a red buff. Uh, Zerga, normally I'm not the one to take it, but I am pretty fucking strong right now, so I understand the sentiment. Uh -oh. Oh god! Oh god! Her ult is up again?! Come on, she just used it! <laughs> oh, she used it right here! I guess to pick up a kill and get 60% of it back. And then used it right here, less than 30 seconds late. Fucking ridiculous. Oh no. And Ranger needs to leave. Oh no. And it's up again! That's <laughs> so stupid! That ultimate should not be on such a short cooldown. I think that change was a mistake. Wow. I mean, obviously you need to get a kill with it, but that's ridiculous. To have an, an ultimate that can do a thousand damage on a cooldown of... Of what? 20 seconds? It's insane. Okay, good. I want the cut. Oh. God, look how much damage he's doing to the tower! Are you kidding me? Wow, the Ziggs managed to kill him while destroying everything. I don't understand why... How champions at this point in the game can do so much damage to the turret. blind. Let's just finish my last item. All right, good, we got him. Then maybe we can stall this game out a little longer. Oh no, please, Rangar, please do not die. I don't think you can win that. Hopefully the Rangar can get out. I don't think he can. Uh, actually it looks like he can.
Boy, am I tanky, huh? We actually have to defend our base. The Trinomir could just be walking up to end it. Unfortunately, we cannot win right now, but if we get this inhibitor back up, we can go. I'm defending the base. Wow, the Elder's already gone. This is insane health. Wait, they w the, the Trindamir soloed the Elder. The Trindamir fucking soloed the Elder. The Talon arrived at the tail end of the Elder being taken. That is insane. I hate champions like Trinomir. The, the the whole the whole concept of solo queue really feels like solo queue with champions like Trinomir that can just single-handedly change the dynamic of a game to be play around me or lose the game. Like objectives like Baron and Elder should never be something that a single champion can do on their own. That should just be impossible. Well, this final inhib's about to come back up. When it does, this next team fight could decide the game. I do have teleport. And it's already gone. Wow, it is already fucking gone. They kill it so fast. Uh, well then, Lance game, I got this, go, 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 oh, oh well, better mid, no, <laughs> it is not better mid wins, this was our bot lane, our bot lane is the entire reason why we lost this game, 100%. What happened in mid and top lane and jungle, none of that mattered at all because our bot lane lost so hard early on that they were able to snowball and just win from the advantages they had gotten from the first five minutes of the game. It was just me and Rengar and... Yeah, and our mid lane. Yeah, it's just our bot lane. Our bot lane cost us the game. Pure and simple. There's no there's no mucking about on this. Our bot lane 100% cost us the game. They're the weakest carries on our team. And on the enemy team, the strongest carries. The two strongest carries came from their bot lane. Or the two strongest champions on the team came from their bot lane. Our two weakest came from ours. And it's funny. The weakest carry on their team, Trindamir. Didn't matter. Doesn't matter. He had people to carry him. And that's all that matters for Trindamir.